Now in this part of the question, we're given that fx equals 2x plus 2 all divided by x squared minus 2x minus 3 minus x plus 1 all divided by x minus 3 and asked to simplify f of x as a single fraction. Well, we've got two fractions here, so we certainly need to uh, group them together somehow. And that's going to be by putting them over a common denominator. But before we start, okay, what we've got is a quadratic expression in the bottom here. And I would want to factorize that. Always try and do that when you've got quadratic expressions, assuming that they factorize, that is. And also, I notice that at the top, 2x plus 2 also factorizes. So I would feel like I'd want to um, factorize that. When you're going to factorize anything, always check to see if it's got a common factor. And of these two terms here, 2x plus 2, there is a common factor. It's 2. So pull 2 out of a bracket. And on the top, it's going to go x plus 1. So if you expand that, you get 2x plus 2 what we've got up there. Now, as for the quadratic expression on the bottom, that factorizes to two brackets. And what are we going to have? We're going to have an x on the front here, giving us x squared. Two numbers that multiply together to give minus 3. And when grouped with the x's, give us the minus 2x. What's that going to be? x plus 1 and x minus 3. Check it out. We've got x squared. We've got minus 3x plus x, that's minus 2x, and then we've got minus 3. All right? Okay. And then this fraction on the end, well, we can't do much with that at the moment. Okay, so we'll just put that over x minus 3. Now, this is quite handy. What we've got here is we've got common factors. We've got the x plus 1 here, x plus 1 here. Common factors, so therefore we can divide top and bottom by x plus 1, so they're going to cancel out. So what we've got left then is 2 over x minus 3 minus x plus 1 over x minus 3. So you can see that they share a common denominator. And that common denominator then is x minus 3. So what we've got then is just 2 over x minus 3, so I can put that there. Take away all of x plus 1 over x minus 3. Now you've got to be very careful here that you don't just write x plus 1. Because that minus is outside of this fraction, you must put that in brackets, okay? Right, well, we're multiplying this bracket by negative 1, so if we expand that, we're going to have 2 minus x minus 1, and that's all going to be over x minus 3. 2 minus 1, well that's 1. 1 take away x, and you're just left then with this equals 1 minus x all over x minus 3. And there you have it. All right, One fraction in its simplest form. Now I must admit, if I was doing this question though, I don't like the equals here, okay? It's not an equation really, it's an expression. So what I'd really like to do is just put that this is identical to all the way down, okay? Rather than the equals. So that's how I would present it, rather than the equals. But I'll leave it up to you, okay? But that basically is it. That brings us to the end of the first part of this question.
cos theta or the quadrant method.